Australians old and new shouldn't have to put up with this scum. What uh, kind of grubs? Well, I tell you what kind of grubs this lot were. This lot were Middle Eastern grubs. There we go. I and mean, you're not allowed to say it, but I'm saying it. If the police can't do the job, the next tier is us. Yeah, good on you, John. Now, uh, you know, my grandfather was an old digger, and he used to say to me when we were growing up, listen, shoot one, the rest will run. <laughs> events in Christchurch show that Islamophobia, anti-Muslim racism has become a real, a real cancer in Australian society. It was helpful though because so often we're told that the perpetrators of terrorism are Muslims or foreigners or refugees or illegals, when in what we got was the reality that no, no, they can come from anywhere, anytime. And uh, lots of hugs, lots of compassion and lots of love. However, I think that we do not need to say thank you because we don't want to thank ourselves. We are Australians as well. The, the terrible murder that took place comes in the context of nearly two decades of anti-Arab, anti-Muslim and anti-refugee politics in mainstream Australian politics and much of the Australian media. And everything in media is, um, does not reflect the reality, it's all been politics. The change of the face of Islam um, has been done in order to serve the, um, uh, the politician and their, um, uh, their greed. Uh. And they're able to exploit our, 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 our fears and our prejudices and that's what brings us back to um, the phobia part of, of, of Islamophobia. It, there, there is an exploitation of people's fears. I do know this much that uh, you know hatred and uh, resentment towards Jewish people and gypsies and other certain groups is almost virtually part of the European um, DNA, you know. As a Bible Manyoga, I stand strong in support of our Muslim community. You know, I got called Bunga, I got called Nigger, you know, the words that I got called, you know, I only feel for our sisters and brothers from the Muslim community, the hurt and pain they must suffer every day by being stereotyped by the way they do get stereotyped within our white community. with them that an, an outward expression of their faith leads them to, to, to a, a public sense of, 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 of shame or abuse because I think that, that's a horrendous thing to have happen to them. And we all have to start understanding that people have the right to determine what their identity is and they don't need any aggressive person to tell them what their identity is. But if I'm going somewhere where there's a lot of Aussie people, I'm not going to wear something that's really, really muslim -y. I'll wear something more like this. Because then I'm accepted as a person, not by my religion. So, yeah, if for re racism reasons I do try, you know, to fit in. And so Islam's not judged too severely. My children even say to me, Mum, can you take your scarf? I say, I am not. Because they, be, they I've been bashed. As a Muslim, I've been slipped on my face as a Muslim. They throw away a beer bottle, beer bottle to my car because I'm Muslim. Oh, I have no words to be able to describe what I feel right now. But I think that the message needs to be said loud and clear. Your hate has no place here. Your darkness has no place here. There will only be love. And we will take this message far and wide. Oh,